Okay guys, here is my 2003 Ford Excursion as she sat about a year ago when she was my daily driver. Unfortunately, on the way home from work one day, um, this happened. Time to give this truck a new lease on life. Welcome to Excursion Build Part 1. guys here she sits it's time to get to work i've um, got big big plans for this thing we're going 600 horsepower kill devil diesel we're going twisted diesel a level three transmission a fast 220 fuel pump we're completely going to redo the interior like this thing is going to be an animal by the time we're done all right guys i kind of wanted to start with a quick kind of before walk around that way you know more for me that I see where we started this whole journey and where we ended up. So you see the uh, Bilstein 5100 series shocks. Um, it does have a 4 inch lift, 35 inch tires, 35 1250s with 20 inch fuel wheels. Um, it's really nice setup, especially when it's, when it's clean, it looks really good. Uh, overall the paint's in decent shape, uh, it polishes out really nice. The, uh, the roof paint is pretty bad. But other than that, it's it's dirty in this video, but the, the truck is actually looking pretty good. Um, interior, all stock, you know, it's got 18 years of abuse. And you can see, like, the vinyl here is, is kind of torn and, and worn out a little bit. So all this is going to get replaced. Um, all my seat switches are kind of intermittent. They really don't work all the time. Um, stock radio, but I mean everything works in the truck. Everything absolutely works. Trailer brake controller, whole nine yards. Um, so let me turn the key on here, and uh, we'll get the mileage. I believe it's like two hundred and eighty-nine thousand. Excuse the dog hair and dust. Um, yeah, so we got a uh, two hundred eighty-nine thousand miles. Two hundred eighty-nine seven three three and. That's where she sat when the when the motor kind of let go with that lifter. Um, so other than that, um, stock head you didn't like I said. Um, the the biggest thing for me is this second row bench. I really want the second row captain's chair. So there's going to be uh, some work done to to get the second row captain's chairs in there instead of the third instead of the second row bench. Um, and again, the carpet's okay, but you're gonna you're gonna see here it's in the front part of it the carpet is just falling apart so you can see the carpet is it's almost non-existent up here by now I mean this thing's got 18 years of abuse and and kids and hauling stuff so it's it's definitely time for a, a refresh the plastics you know the vinyl and the the paneling and stuff has some nicks in it here and there but for the most part it's in good shape it's in decent shape. There's nothing wrong with it. The headliner is in good shape. I'll pull it all out and clean it. Um, but again, it's just, it definitely could use a little, a little TLC, I guess. Um, again, this is just a shot just to show the, the condition of the seats when we started here. And again, the second row bench, it's, it's almost impossible to find the second row captain's chairs for these things. So we're going to do something with maybe some late model expedition captain's chairs and get them mocked in there. Um, I think that'll come out really, really nice. Other than that, it's, it's basically in good order. It's just going to be uh, kind of trying to make it more like a new truck. So that's kind of the goal here. It, it looks nice now, but it's time to take it to the next level. Clean everything all up. Add some power ports back here for the kids so they have USB ports. All right, guys, stay tuned. Next video, we'll start yanking out the interior, start getting this project rolling. I'm looking forward to it. Let's make this happen.